G'day YouTube, Aussie FIFA HD, and welcome back to yet another FIFA 22 tutorial on the channel. They're coming out, lads, quick and fast, and I can't wait to start uploading proper FIFA 22 tutorials for you guys. We're sort of just playing it by ear at the moment until the game comes out. It's frustrating, but... You know, it's what we have to work with. However, today I have tips for you guys on how to adjust to FIFA 22 and get off to the right start. Three men, three men around him, and somehow finds some space for another fantastic opening. The drive back. He's made himself the tiniest bit of space. It almost feels like a bit of a toy. Didn't really go for him. Oh! The display there is absolutely ridiculous. Oh my goal line. On the goal line, the finest. We talked about this in FIFA. He's not here to make up the numbers. Learning the basics in FIFA 21. I'm talking about player lock and skill moves. Two main things that I highly recommend you guys practicing in FIFA 21 so that you can transition into FIFA 22. Because what I can guarantee you is player lock and skill moves will be two things that you will 100% need for the new game. So why not get them down pat in FIFA 21 before you transition, okay? And I'm talking about skill moves which are common and ones that have worked year in, year out. Number one, the ball roll. Number two, the heel to heel. Number three, the body faint. All skill moves that have worked year in, year out, that you guys can get down pat, can practice, can get down second nature in your attacking arsenal so that you can transition into FIFA 22. Number two is also player lock, as I was saying. It's going to be vital as I've done a tutorial on that on the channel, the importance of player lock in FIFA 22, because it will be, all right? And even from watching the released uh, beta gameplay from EA uh, a few days ago or about a week ago, it was still usable in the game. You can see it at the pros using it I'm gonna definitely be using it and you guys should too so that's my tip number one for you guys on how to transition and get good at FIFA 22 trying different dribbling techniques this is tip number two for you guys for transitioning into FIFA 22 and how to adapt to the game quickly for me dribbling is a very important thing this entails you guys going into FIFA 22, testing out different dribbling techniques, whether it's the standard right stick dribbling, whether it's the strafe dribbling, whether it's the agile dribbling. Any of those dribbling techniques, you need to be trying out early on to see what works. See what allows you to turn in tight situations. See what allows you to bypass defenders' tackles. This is very important for learning dribbling in FIFA 22. No doubt I'm gonna have dribbling tutorials for you guys on the channel, so be sure to watch out for those. But for those of you who are wanting to get in early, wanting to adapt early, and wanting to play really good FIFA at the start of FIFA 22 to get the down game down pat, then test out dribbling. That's tip number two for you guys. Testing different shots. This is crucial in your finishing game in FIFA 22. We all know different games, yet again, as I was saying before, they change in terms of what mechanics work better. And some shooting techniques work better than others in different years. For instance, FIFA 20 was near post. FIFA 21 was far post. So that means you need to go into FIFA 22 testing different shooting positions. What works better? Does near post work better? Does far post need work better? Does you know your finesse shots out the bots work better, which from the beta gameplay released by EA, it looks like the finesse shots outside the bots are going to be super overpowered, okay? Do uh, long shots work better? And, you know, do chip shots? Do crosses work better? Do are headers overpowered? These are the things you need to be testing out. Day one, FIFA 22, okay, to see what works better so that you guys can start finishing well early on in the game so you can get a feel for the game. That's very, very important. So test out your different shooting techniques and tactics in FIFA 22. No doubt, as I was saying, I'll have tutorials on it, okay? But it's also good for you guys to get it internalized for yourself, okay? To get it in, you know, embedded in you so that you can do it second nature when you're shooting in FIFA 22. Testing different tactics. Certain tactics work uh, you know, better than others. For instance, last year, Team Press was super overpowered, constant pressure was super overpowered and that was a tactic people used early on in FIFA 22 because it worked, okay? This goes the same for FIFA 22. Try out your tactics, okay? It's gonna be super, super important. What works better? Possession, does that work better? Okay, fast build up, does that work better? Okay, in terms of your tactics, how wide should your formations be? Are wider formations better than narrow formations? So falls in line with trying different tactics in your custom tactics section on the game to see what works best. I'm getting into the 
the final tip for you guys on how to transition into FIFA 22 and get good early on. Testing skill moves. I mean, this is what it's all about, isn't it? Skill moves are a staple in your attacking game in FIFA 22. And my God, is it important for you guys to test out different skill moves at the game at the start of the game to see what is overpowered and worse. It's crucial. And you guys know I'll have tutorials on skill moves on the channel, but what I'm saying is you guys need to test out for yourself what works better for you in certain situations, although I will be deconstructing for that for you in my skill move tutorial series. It's crucial for you guys to do it yourselves, to internalize it, as I was saying, and get it down pat, okay? Testing skill moves like, you know, your, uh, you know, Berber spins. Do they work good this year? Do your Magidi spins work good? Does the step over work good? Testing skill moves that worked last year as well, because sometimes they will work in back-to-back -back years. Okay, so does the step over work? Does the bridge skill work? Okay, test out the new skill moves as well. And again, I'll have tutorials on those for you guys, but testing out new skill moves that have been added into the game to see what works. Does explosive sprint work? Does the dink touch work? Does the four touch skill work? These are things that you need to be testing and trialing early on in the game so that you can get ahead of other people to get better at the game. But lads, that's going to signal the end of the episode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to conclude today by giving you, uh, you know, giving myself a plug on the new Road to Glory series I'm doing on the channel, the No Money Spent Road to an Event. So I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let's jump into the intro, the reveal for this series. And hopefully I can see you guys early on on my FIFA 22 Road to Glory series. Let's hit it. Welcome to the No Money Spent Road to an Event. This series aims to show you that you can compete at a high level of esports without spending money, as well as the ins and outs of what it takes to make an event. Whether that's keeping fit, maintaining a healthy diet, or learning the game mechanics, this is my version of a Road to Glory, and I'm taking you on my journey.